Hey guys, um, I hope you like this series. So this is gonna be Slime Rancher. I don't know if you're gonna like this game or not, but I like it. So. Um, it's really a different game for some reason, and um, I have a little experience in this game, but not much. It's just like where I guess you could say that. Um, I'm not very good. So I'm gonna make a new world. I'm gonna name it YouTube for no apparent reason and um I'm gonna see how far I can go with this first episode and well, if it is it's gonna be the first episode. I don't know if you guys want this to be a series. Um This game also I've had experiences with it taking forever to load. Ooh. Carrots. Carrots, I want the carrots. 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 Okay, so I've already done this tutorial before, it's not really that helpful, but I mean it is to some people. And I guess that the point of this game here. I should have said this earlier, but the point of this game is you want to um, get slimes, different types of slimes, not just pink slimes because they suck. Um, they're definitely the worst type of slime that you can get. And what you want to do with these, you just feed them stuff and then they like make ports. And um, then you vacuum up the ports and then you like, deposit them at the market and you make money. And when you make money, you spend the money on stuff. And the goal is to make as much money as you can. And there's a lot of exploring involved in this. Like, those are all the ports right there. And um, the pink ports, as you can see, are definitely the worst. And then the gold ports are impossibly hard to get, but they're still worth a ton. And different slimes will eat like different stuff, and you want to put them in the corrals. And then you also want to, um, you just want to feed them stuff and get as many ports as you can. And there are some really helpful upgrades, um, and I apparently just discovered the dry reef. Sorry about, sorry about that if you were kind of annoyed that the reaction was late. Okay, and when, um... Slime eats like a port, it's not their like port, their color of port or whatever it says. Um they turn into like these largo things or whatever they call largo, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um and they become a mix of those two slimes. But if they eat another port that neither of those slimes um produce, they will turn into a tar, which are really annoying because they like kill everything. Well, not kill everything, but they just like eat everything. And they're like rainbows, apparently. So it's like these awful, awful ravenous rainbows. I don't really know what they mean by that, but I guess it's just what they mean. I don't know, I just like this game. I like, like its features what it does. I mean, I'm just starting out, so this is probably going to be, like, these first 10 minutes are probably going to be pretty boring. So, yeah. But it definitely gets a lot more fun, um, when, like, you're, um, when you're, like, getting further into the game, because, like, you just, um, start to, um, like, 
be able to make money and not just like these like 10 things, like just these 10 bucks every time. So I guess it's a lot easier.
Yeah, so sorry about um, muting myself. I wasn't trying to do that, but uh, my mic just glitched out and it wouldn't let me talk, so I just got muted. And so I'm kind of fast forwarding past all the um, things, because all I was really doing, I was just like tending the ranch and like um, just making a little extra money. So yeah, all I did was like I got the um, um, I don't know why I almost said that I got the jetpack back because I didn't. Um, so if I did get the jetpack, back, that would be OP because it's like good. But um, I know that you need the power cores, so like it's like a thing that you buy. Um, with like the in-game currency and it gives you more of like the energy thing that you see is going down since I'm sprinting and so yeah if you don't know about that then now you do also if you've seen these puddle slimes when they're not in my um, vacuum tank or whatever it is. Um, they they're like the cutest things ever. I, I love I love puddle slimes. They're definitely my favorite slime. Although mosaic slimes are pretty cool too because they look really good. They're like a rainbow. They're like shiny, but they're annoying things. They cause anomalies and they, just, they burn you. Yeah, I mean it's not that bad. Slimes. Get an auto feeder and so that is not a stop. Also, if you want to uh, make a, a sign eat different stuff, like, and like and then you just like turn it into a cargo that like eats different stuff. So like if you like want like since you like need meat because you have like a boom sign or something, you only eat some meat. And if you, and you can feed it from, if you make it like a Largo with like a rock slime that eats veggies or a piece of that eats everything. And these guys, um, if you want to these, I, I highly recommend I mean, if you try to collect the quartz while you go in there, they just like, be really hard and you have to try to make sure you try to go in there like that. Um, I mean, one of them is like, a ton of them is like, um, I, um, when I was off cam, I almost died from them like five times. Um, they just like run into you for no apparent reason, and if they escape, then yeah, they're just gonna have to just deal with them. And also, I made a huge mistake. I do not recommend the most big slime. Largo or larger. Oh, I definitely do not recommend these. Because they are really annoying. I made a huge mistake trying to deal with this. Maybe a tabby slime or something, or just something that I could have actually um, not tried to risk dying to tame. That's pure evil. That's, that's evil. That's pure evil. You see that huge smile? It's like it's, it's like it, it's like oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with my crown because I can and I have it and I have this rock thing on my head. Um, it's just like yeah. them up before I could really even see their appearance and those things are ugly.
I mean, I get a lot for their parts, I guess. These things are ugly. If you listen to it closely, you can faithfully hear the veggie. Whatever that means. All I know is that I really need this because um, if I get the heartbeat, that's um, like the rock slime's favorite food. So if I feed it to those pink things, um, uh, they will give double the force that you need. Yeah, so right there, it says that it's favored by the rock slimes, so the rock slimes really love them. And it might just get a lot of money because of those. So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep until the morning so it like skips time so they'll grow. And I accidentally hit star mail, I don't even know why I'm reading this. Okay. I guess I'll just sleep now. Oh, okay, where's the person? Oh great, my sent me a message. I wonder what her complaint is. Oh, what? Only 7 rooster and 14 carrots? That's nothing. Compared to what I have to give. Oh, uh, how unlucky my all I got. I am, I am really lucky I got 4 whole hearts. Harvest actually gives me 5 I got to Quarry isn't this way. I guess I'll, I guess I'll go to it. Then, um, hopefully, I can find the slime I've been trying to find for a long time—the crystal slime. Oh yeah, by the way, you need like a slime key to get in there if you don't know. And so, how you get these slime keys is there are certain huge slimes that are a different type of slime, and they're called Gordos. Um, and if you feed them the food that they want, you will, um, they will drop a slime key and other stuff. Oh, get cool time, cool time, I need that, I need that, I need the ports, I need, I need the ports. 
There's a Gordo right there, and I'm just gonna check a slime pad because it, that, that's a Gordo that you do not want to feed because it will not give you a slime key. The Brock and the Tabby Gordos, uh, they um, they just unlock like teleporters, which usually don't, they're, they're not that helpful. They're not as helpful as they sound at least. Um, and so it's kind of just like a waste of materials because they won't really give you anything. And yeah so uh, I wonder if I can find some puddle slimes in this thing. Oh there they are. Look at that. It's so cute. I mean tell you I mean tell me how how can you not like that that like small little harmless face. It looks a lot like the fire slime too. The fire slime looks exactly like the puddle slime, except it's red and it's on fire, and it's annoyingly hard to take care of. Since you need like an incinerator and you need to get like an upgrade on it, and you need to just like nonstop throw things in the incinerator to make ash um, with that upgrade, and so you just like gotta keep throwing all your stuff into an incinerator just to keep a fire slime alive that don't, that it doesn't even give me that many, that much, like, money. So there's really no point in taking care of them, you might as well just keep them in your inventory or just not even have them. Oh no! What is that? I think that's, um, the, it's like a veggie, and like the rad slimes is like their favorite veggie, and I think it's called like an Aka Aka, Oka Oka. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And, um, that leads back to where the um, to where I came from. So I guess I'm not going through there. Um, I don't know. If, do you know what the crystal slimes are? Can, can you tell me down the comments? Because I have no idea. I'm just hoping that you know. Oh, it's a stony, stony chick, stony chickadoo. Uh, um, this chick had a hard up upbringing. How does that make sense? Okay, well I'm gonna see you soon.